All right, we have our timer and our timer is going. Can you please introduce yourself? Hi, Mr. Cody. My name is Karen Sheridan and I am the Associate Principal of Student Affairs at Northampton High School. Cool, and this is, you, you, were, you were as well last year, but this is your first official. Like, yes, I was the Interim Associate Principal last year. Uh, prior to that, I was the Athletic Director for five years. So this is my first real official year as the Associate Principal. And so last year was quite a baptism of fire, as they would say, wouldn't, wouldn't you say? Yes, it was. There was a lot of um, growing and learning on my part, getting to know kids in a different way. I had uh, known a lot of the kids through athletics, which was a really great sort of in yeah. for me. But it was nice to get to know a di new students, um, different groups of students, and to see them in action in the classroom, uh, not just on the fields or on the courts and stuff. So it was yeah. It was Really no, I, was, I was thinking also just COVID. So that's uh, that's was such a huge administrative yeah. task, basically. I see behind you, you have our uh, graduation from last year, right? Yes, that was a huge undertaking, which um, there's so many staff and faculty and administrators and everybody involved in that process. And it, it was, it turned out to be really wonderful with the exception of about, you know, three minutes of monsoon that came. Well, from. talk about that because that, that balloon structure <laughs> and it, it went from a beautiful sunny day to what? Describe that moment a little oh, bit. Goodness. So we had been seeing the radar, uh, the weather radar, and we thought maybe we'd just get a little rain. And then all of a sudden, it went from a beautiful, warm day, sunny, uh, to dark, dark skies, really cloudy, and then just this downpour all at once wind came sw uh, sweeping through and basically took this yeah this beautiful uh, uh, balloon arch uh, down the street we had mm. to go after it people were drenched but you know in 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 the perfect I don't know um, harmony I guess we all like rallied mm. together and we were able to figure out how to finish up the the ceremony and bring everybody inside and honor the kids who had yet to be uh, to get their diploma and whatnot so you know i think it it's was a, masterful the way that everybody rallied together to, yeah to and i just think that that's a to that story is such a good story to think about that you know we are coming back into school we're going to be building academic skills but we're also building all of these other skills that, that no other generation has been forced to develop you know I this know. Oh, go ahead with the, uh, the, the resilience, you know, I think we're all, we all struggle in various ways and we have like, we ebb and flow through this and some days are really great and some days are, are hard. Um, but I look back each week and I just think how, how proud and, and honored I am that uh, we get to work with such resilient people who continue to persevere and, and are doing the best they can and are asking for help when they need it. So it's, um, it's a pleasure. It's been, it's, it's, a, it's a pain, but it's also a pleasure just to see um, how great people are and, and how thoughtful and bright. Um, I don't know, I'm just yeah. so. Well, if it's hard, you know it's probably you're growing is the thing. Absolutely. Yeah, yes. and so yes. in some ways, our high school friends are, they already have this. They're already in the midst of a, a big growth spurt and struggle. Yeah. Now, what would you like as a ninth grader? Oh, man. So um, I was really excited about going to high school. I went to a middle school that was five through eight. And so by the time I got to ninth grade, I was ready to go. Um, and I wanted to be involved in everything. I played sports, I was a part of student government, and um, I probably overcommitted myself freshman year because I was so excited to have all these op great opportunities and to try and like, you know, spread my wings and whatnot. So, um, so I think I learned after freshman year the things I really loved and wanted to commit my time and, and, and energy towards. So uh, that first year was able to sort of, I don't know, catapult me and let me learn a little bit about what I really enjoyed. And then I, I um, focused my efforts more thoughtfully uh, sophomore through senior year. That's a great way to spend ninth grade. It's just sampling stuff, you know, seeing where you're drawn. And the high school has so many great avenues. So oh, that's the good news. Yeah. We're, we're so fortunate. Our, and our students are so fortunate. We have so many clubs and activities and, and committed faculty and staff who wanted them to try new things. So if they... Yeah. If students want to try a new club we always have someone who steps up and says yeah let me help you out with that or um you know there's great so many opportunities so 
Yeah, it really is. It really good. Well, the school is very lucky to have you. We really appreciate all the tremendous amount of work that administration is, has done and, and is doing because as a teacher, I'm humbled by the strain and level of processing that's going on for you guys. So we really do appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. It's been made so much easier now that we have all of you back. Uh, you know, it's wonderful for us to be able to work through stuff, but we are so much stronger when we have all of our faculty and staff back to help us. Yeah. Really it really feels that way. Well, yeah. well thank you so much. You're welcome.